Hello guys, I'm Timothy Earl with Earl Sports Bets and Picks and Parlays, and welcome back to another edition of Balling Out with Tim Earl. We got them NHL. We got some hockey to talk to you guys about. Four games on the dock for tomorrow. Um, there's a bunch of games, but we'll be talking over four. Panthers, Red Wings, uh, Canes, and the Rangers, Toronto, Boston, New Jersey, and Minnesota. Those will be the four games we talk about. Before we jump into it, if you guys are interested in all of our plays over on the picksandparlays.net website, one week pass. Uh, $70, all sports. I will say none of these have any influence on Nick's picks. Nick controls the hockey. So I could have something here. It could be something different on the site. Nick controls hockey. I like to dabble in it. So I figured light card for N- NBA tomorrow, which I do have an NBA best bet for tomorrow that's up on the site, along with a couple other plays. I think we're going to have two plays up on the site for NBA tomorrow. Short slate. But if you guys are interested in all that stuff, picksandparlays.net forward slash Tim, and then make sure you guys are following Earl Sports Bets on all social media platforms. Let's jump into some hockey. We'll look at the Panthers and the Red Wings. It's a pick them with a total of six and a half in this game. You get the Panthers coming into this one, four, three, and one. You got the Red Wings coming into this one, six, three, and one. And I looked at this Panthers team. They just had a rough loss in overtime, a game that they probably could have won against the Boston Bruins. Previous to that, they won four out of five. They were looking good, and they looked good in that Boston game defensively. Just an overtime loss, 2-2. Two to two. They're going into there, 3-2 final. Not a big deal. Um, you look at the Red Wings coming off of a nice win overtime against the Islanders. Previous to that, losing three in a row. I just, I like, I think the Panthers are going to be on an upswing. I think the Panthers are going to have a nice little run. And I I, I understand the love for uh, for the Panthers, uh, for the Detroit. They, they played well to start the year. I'm taking the Panthers at a pick them in this one. We'll go over to this game, the Canes and the Rangers. The Rangers are minus 120 with a total of 5.5 in this game. And uh, there's another one. I'm going to take the road team in this one, too. I'm taking the Canes. Um, Canes are not off to a good start this year. They're 3-4 and four on the road. Rangers, 7-2 and two start. I just think the line's a little bit too close, although this is a pick them game. This, it should be a pick them game. I'm going to take a little bit of plus money with Carolina. I think they. I think a road trip is going to be good for them. Um, they've won three in a row now against Seattle, San Jose, and Philly, but they're starting to win now. I think they're starting to get – they're getting healthier. They have a couple pieces that came back. The reappearance of Andrei Shreznikov has definitely really helped this game team. I think he helps them to a win over the Rangers. We'll head over to the – I would say game of the night, but there's plenty of good games tomorrow, so this is a fun slate. Uh, Leafs and Bruins. The Bruins are minus 120 with a total of five and a half. And you get the Bruins that are 8 0 and 1 to start the year. Argu- arguably, if I had a power rankings, I had the Leafs as number one in my power rankings to start the year. They've dropped a bunch. Boston would be number two behind Vegas, but I am grabbing the Leafs in this one. I think it's a good bounce back spot. Get them on the road because they just played a game at home that they got wrecked, the Kings, 4 to 1. I think going on the road is going to be good for them. You get Boston. Coming back from a uh, – well, they're actually on a three-game homestand right now. This is their fourth game at home. But I think this is a good spot for the Leafs to go in there, get a win against a good team. You normally see them play up to their competition, and you normally see them play down to their competition. That's why you see the Leafs losing games to Chicago. And like, and then you look at it and go, wow, they can go and beat Dallas, and they can go and beat Tampa, but they lose to Chicago. This team doesn't make sense. I think they step up against Boston, though. We'll take them there. Another line that doesn't make sense to me is the Devils and the Wild. Devils are minus 120 with a total of 6.5. This is a Devils team that's looked okay to start the year. They're 5-2-1. Five and five, two and one. and uh, on the opposite side, you get a Minnesota team that's just looked awful in this game to pick them. Give me the Wild. Another game, which is a pick them game that I want to go away from what I think everybody's going to go for. Everybody's going to see New Jersey at a small price. Give me the wild and even money in this one. Once again, if you guys are interested in all of our plays over on picksandparlays.net, boom, right there for all sports. NBA best bet It's going to be up by the time you guys see this. Lots of uh, plays coming up and college football. And not to mention college basketball is almost here. Super excited about that. So if you guys are interested in that, boom, right there, along with following everything on Earl Sports Bets. Make sure you – here's a recap. Uh, Panthers. Money line, Canes, money line, Leafs, money line, Wild, money line. There you go. That's going to do it for this edition of Balling Out with Tim Merle. Thank you guys for watching, and good luck.